Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about reticular formation. Reticular formation is the network of neurons and nerve fiber in the core of brain stem extending from the spinal cord to the cerebral cortex. Strategically placed around the important nerve trunks and nuclei. As we think about the respiratory center, so that is located in the middle of Lungata and also the entire brain stem that comprises midbrain pons middle of the oblongata, the site of a lot of cranial nerve nuclei. So reticular formation is placed in a strategically important place. It receives input from sensory nerve and send efferent fibers throughout the central nervous system. The dendrites of reticular formation is exceptionally large and receives information from ascending and descending tracts. Okay. So if you look at the reticular, if you look at the reticular formation, so here is the brain stem. This is the midbrain, this is the pons, this is the middle oblongata, and here is the reticular formation. They are the neurons and nerve fiber. They make three columns like lateral column, medial column, and median column. They are connected to the entire nervous system, like they are getting input from cerebral cortex and they are sending input to the cerebral cortex. Also, they are connected to the thalamus, connected to the hypothalamus, hypothalamus, okay, and it regulates a lot of body functions. So, again, these are the reticular formation columns. So we have efferent projection and efferent projection. Efferent projection numerous efferent pathways from CNS are projected, projected to the reticular formation. So reticular formation is working as a gatekeeper, as a filter. Spinothalamic tract, spinal reticular tract, medial lemniscus from also get efferent projection from cranial nerve nuclei, from cerebellum, from cerebrum, and from diencephalon. Efferent projection, we are getting reticulobulbar traps, reticulospinal tract, efferent output extends to the sympathetic and parasympathetic outflow. Sympathetic outflow is a thoracolumbar outflow. Parasympathetic outflow is a craniosacral outflow. They are connected to the reticular formation. Efferent output extends to the diencephalon, basal ganglia, and cerebral cortex. So now we'll go to the functions of this reticular formation. Control of skeletal muscle. Control of muscles of facial expression. Control of somatic and visceral sensation, control of autonomic nervous system, control of endocrine system. Endocrine system, we are getting some releasing factor from the hypothalamus that will regulate the hormone level of the body and also the hormones of the entire pituitary gland. Influence on biologic clock, again, it is related to the hypothalamus, connected to the hypothalamus, so it influences the biologic clock. Then regulation of arousal and wakefulness, there is also a function of the reticular formation. Okay, so that's all about the reticular activating system or reticular formation. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please share the information with your friends. And please support my channel. Please subscribe me. Have a nice day. Bye now.